Good morning, beautiful people. Hopefully you're doing well. Today's topic is the worst thing you can do to a woman is make her feel uncomfortable when you're trying to get with her. I'm a perfect example. The mother of my children, I took her out on a date. I found her on Tinder on the dating app. We matched. I was hollering at her for like a good month. Took her out on a date. I paid for her food at Permanis. We're here in Pittsburgh. I paid for her drink. I took her out to the movies. I paid for her popcorn and her drink. And then uh, I drove her back to the restaurant. And then we were about to go our separate ways. And I, I was about to go home. She was about to go. You know, she planned on bar hopping, which is fine. This is our first interaction, guys. Although I was already like, I was digging shorty heavy because like she's just awesome. Her personality. She's so wholesome. She's from the South. Pretty little thing. I'm like, I want this to grow. I'm trying to bag that, you know. So I wanted a kiss, dog. You know what I'm saying? So instead of me leaning in and being all aggressive, I asked her, can I get a kiss? She said, no. I said, no. She said, no. I was like, oh, okay. And then we started talking a little bit more. We were in the park a lot, right? Instead of me doubling down and making her feel uncomfortable and sending her mean texts, I just went home after, you know, and I, I continued to talk to her. And I was a little distant for like a week because it hurt my little feelings, you know, because we were young guys. We was 21. I'm still with her to this day. You know, a beautiful woman. So I'm glad I have her I have her inside my life. Aisha, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, and she gave me my beautiful son, EJ. And you know what, guys? When a woman tells you no, and like I really wanted her like real bad. And she, you know, she was clearly interested, but it was our first interaction. And my girl is an introvert. Um, she, you know, it takes a while for her to warm up to you to really get to know her personality. And even though I was talking to her, you know, for so long, so much, she still wanted more time, like just as, as just being friends to, to get to know me, you know, because you never know. People are freaky weirdos, even after talking for months on social media and, um, you know, on the phone. But, you know, I, this is the reason I'm bringing this up, guys, is some some men double down. And I've heard stories where, like, you're dating a woman. She breaks up with you. She doesn't want to be with you anymore. And you're like, oh, she's going to be with me. I'm going to show up to her job with flowers and presents and shower her with gifts and tell her and confess her love to me. And I'm going to show up, you know, at her cousin's baby shower. And I'm going to show up. And you're just stalking her. You're making her feel uncomfortable, unwanted texts, unwanted phone calls, unwanted attention, unwanted affection. All of it is unwanted. The best thing you can do is just figure out where the line is based on how she's feeling and literally asking her. Don't assume. And once she tells you where you stand, just keep your distance. Keep a player. If she ain't if she ain't feeling you, she ain't feeling you. She definitely isn't going to feel you by you acting like a psychopath, you know, like a creeper. Like, and I don't know if this is like a trend that is becoming more popular as time goes on. And, and you know, like we're just not raising our boys to be used to being told no or like, you know, just setting boundaries. Like, I feel like dudes have boundary issues. And this isn't the first time I've heard, you know, with my own ears and through like social media and YouTube and other platforms, you know, men just taking taking the word no so so hard or like them having to wait or a lot of times if you just put in more effort you know she'll at least give you a shot you know might be a shot in the dark <laughs> might be a shot for now <laughs> but it's a shot okay <laughs> you never know what that could turn into you know i had my shot i took it i missed it i had to wait you know and then hey took her on a couple more dates you know texted her a little bit more talked on the phone a little bit more and next thing you know she's philly a boy we've been together ever since been happy as a clown but um yeah it's just my story about me being told no and how i was successful uh you know of of, of just just chilling out when a woman draws a line in the sand the the line might not even be forever it might just be for now you know a lot of times women just want to feel you out you know, and, hey, it, and I wasn't tripping because I'm hey, not to brag, okay, but what I'm trying to sell ain't that hard to market, all right? It don't stay on the shelves for long. <laughs> I'm a nut. I'm an idiot. But no, like for real, if you got it going on, you know, you got your stuff together. You got a job. You got a good level head on your shoulders. Um, You're a compassionate person. You're a man. You stand up for what you believe in. You have family values. Um, You know, you, you have a good friend circle. You smell real good. You're in the gym. You're taking care of yourself. Um, You're, you're career focused. You're driven. You want to provide. You want to sec- you want to uh, provide for your family. You want to make sure they're secure. And you just want to, you know, just be a, a good stand up ninja. You know, if you if you're a real stand up ninja, you won't have time. You won't have a hard time finding women or, you know, 
know, communicating with women. Guys, it's okay to be just friends with women. Like, seriously. Like, if if she say no, just be like, all right, cool. We'll just be friends. She might circle back later on. You never know. She might be like, hey, you know that pipe you was trying to give me the other day? I changed my mind. Hey, hey, it happens, guys. It happens. But it'll never happen by doubling down, making a woman feel uncomfortable, and by not keeping a player. And what I mean by player, I don't mean you out here pimping shorties. I'm just talking about you have enough confidence and you have enough self-worth and self-control that you can respect that distance Continue to communicate, value the relationship as a friend from a man to a woman and keep it moving and just do your own thing. Talk to a different woman or if she's not feeling you at all, just being like, hey, it was a pleasure talking to you. Um, you know, I think you're a good person. I, you know, you have these characteristics and these traits, which I really resonate with, um, you know, and I understand you don't want to be friends. I, you know, if you change your mind, let me know. Um, I know there's no chance of us being together. So that's cool, too. Um, you take it easy. You know, I'm, I got stuff to do. I'm about to go work out. You have a wonderful night. Beautiful. Take care. I will delete your number and then just be done and be like, if you want to save mine, that's cool. And then just show her her name. Hit the delete button. You know, give her a fist pound. Be out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what are we doing? Like, what happened to us? Just what happened to us? Just you know, not letting our pride destroy us. What happened to to men um, allowing their pride to push them forward? Now, I feel like it's just it's just a little it's just a little little patience issue. It's just a little self control, little patience issue. That's 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 what it is. And you know, us not having or your younger generation not having as much interaction um, person to person. Like you approaching a woman is like rare now, you know? Like the social skills of our younger generation as far as men go have, have decreased a little bit, you know? They're not as sharp as they once were. So um, not only are they doing, you know, pretty bad or not as well inside the, the playing offense, they're also not too good on the defensive end being told no. Um, you know, or what to do after a woman tells you no. And, you know, a woman could tell you no for multiple different reasons. They don't even got to explain themselves. You know, I, I like to ask in a kind and gentle way, like, hey, can I, no offense, not trying to make you feel weird. Can I at least know why? You know, because if the reason's, hey, you know, hey, I'm going to start time of the month or I want to give you some more time and then I'm going to throw this thing at you. Then, okay, cool. Or she might just be like, because I said so. If a woman tells you that, I would darn near delete her number and just be like, okay, cool. Sorry I made you feel, um, you know, uncomfortable. You can keep my number. I'm out. That's all you got to do. Keep a player. But you guys have a good day. This is my opinion. This is what I would tell my son. This is what I did when I was younger. Um, and making women feel comfortable is always, you know, women like to feel comfortable when they're around men. That's important, guys. That's the most important part of, uh, of being being a woman around a man. Uh, you know, at least at least that's what I try to keep when a woman's around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm, I'm around old boy. Oh boy, gonna he gonna feed me, make me feel good, make me feel nice, safe, and warm. And that's what every woman I feel like want. Cause what woman wants to be in a sketchy situation, <clears throat> feeling uncomfortable, and you know, and and, and and it's questionable, you know, um, how it's gonna end. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support the channel if y'all like more topics um, about this. I just try to give stuff from the male perspective. If any women have anything to add, any questions, any comments, concerns, women's opinion is highly valued. Please put it in the comments section. Men too. We out. Happy 2023. Peace.